All right, folks, we're back. Um, I did a little bit of mining off camera just um, to shorten down the episodes just a touch. Um, and I think it'll be a little bit more interesting. If you like to see the mining in the chat time, we can go after it. What I did find when I was mining, though, was um, a zombie uh, dungeon. So I collected the spawner so we could put that to use for our own little mob trap. And I also got a couple extra helmets out of that um, system. So, um, there's a couple things I want to design here to take advantage of this this week. Uh, we're getting closer on the sorting system. Um, we need a few more item cards and things of that nature, but I want to take advantage of this zombie trap because I think it'll enable more metals for us as we go. Um... So let's go ahead and get started on that. And remember, over time, we've been collecting clay here, which is extraordinarily useful for what we need. I want to go after the Tinkerer's um, Construct um, uh, Smeltery. And I don't know. Do we got the books for it yet? Don't even remember. Let's look. So I'm pretty sure... Nope, we do not. Let's go ahead and make the set of books. I know we need a hand we're gonna need a handful of wooden sticks for this, so let's just grab a bunch and roll with it. Pretty sure it's like that to make the patterns. I'll make one more, why not? And then you put one like that to make the table. One, see, each one of these different things will get us um, books to use. Uh, tool station, stencil table. I think the last one's probably a, there's a pattern chest. And maybe I needed a log. Actually, for the last one, all these different things get us all the basic level of books. And we can look at, we can actually look at how to craft the books, too. Um, it's that and a piece of paper. Let's do it. Might as well. And in fact, I'm going to make two of these, and I'll show you why in just a second. I'm pretty sure we can craft this one up to the black level just by converting it, and this one to the red, so that way we have all three. And as far as our smeltery goes, I think it would be a great spot to put it back into here. If we can, we just get a little bit of clearing to do it, looks like. As long as we don't get any crazy mobs back into here. We'll be in okay shape. But it almost looks like I should have a wand on me here to make sure we're collecting everything that we go with and let me finish clearing that out I'll me measure up the stuff and then we'll go over to the next spot see you in just a second alright folks we're back and I've cleared out an area here some, um, where we want to put our smeltery and all of our tinkerers construct truck uh, stuff so let's go ahead and start getting that together now if we look at our smeltery book um, our mighty smelting. You remember how we got that from just a moment ago when we crafted it. Um, you can see all the different pieces we need for a very basic level um, smeltery. And that's pretty much all I'm going to go for. Not enough to get us some stuff. Oops. And I had actually um, found quite a few silverfish in there. So let's see. We need seared brick. Uh controller and we got to look through these recipes because I don't remember I know it's grout so gravel sand and a clay brick gets us eight I forget how many we're gonna need but quite a few so let's just go ahead and make some bricks and you remember we've got our plenty of gravel and stuff over here should be along with sand and if not, oh, there's the compressed gravel. We'll leave the sand right there. I'll take the compressed sand. 
So we're going to need 16 of each. Uh, and we need to make some more inventory room. Let's put this stuff away. So we had a uh, couple of um, uh, epic level um, silverfish spawn there. Knocked the signs off the wall. We'll have to fix them a little later. Um, I've got a sorting drop-off point now, by the way, and this should send all of our stuff up to be processed if it's in the system. If not, then uh, we'll figure it out. And let's make grout quickly. We want this recipe because we're doing it in blocks. And mob drops can go back to here. So slowly but surely I've been working through getting us the sets of drops we need for everything. And... I'm surprised that hasn't upconverted. Do I not have platinum in here yet? I've also learned to label all the different item cards to make our lives easier. So two stacks of grout, we'll see where that gets us. Um, and in the meantime, let's put these books away because I kind of know what we need. Anyhow. It's just good to have them on hand. Whoops. Let's make a platinum card. So what, what I do is I take one of these for the... Granted, if you right click it, remember to open up the crafting grid. Left click to put the pattern in, and it memorizes it. If you hold down sneak and right click, you can name it. And I've just been naming it... Um, like the metal that we're getting. So that way when something's sitting in there, I can quickly glance over and say, Oh, I don't have it or I got an extra item card to work with now. Close the chest and it should up convert in just a minute. It, it kind of checks through its whole inventory and with lag and whatnot. Um, it'll get there. And we'll probably need it to, once it converts, we'll probably need to get that from downstairs and add it to our filter here. And this is just all the stuff that could be in our system that I deposit. It's what'll happen. Alright, so the grout looks like it all cooked up and it should be coming downstairs. Probably to here. There we go. So see it now like aluminum ore was not in our filter. So let's go ahead and add that in. Aluminum should be smelted. Actually, yes, aluminum should be smelted. So let's get that in. And remember, like I said, we can just add chests to the top here as we go to force things to go where they belong. And down here, we've got the four sets in, gets everything else gets pulled out. So, all I'm doing here essentially is protecting the base metals we get and pulling out everything else. I did figure out that we did have to disable MBT and ignore or dictionary to get the item card and book to sit there. Um, so it's, it, it, if you go to the MBT level of data, the item cards I think are a little different. I'm not positive on that. But it seems to not pull them back out. So we can do the same thing on the one down below as we need more stuff too. And that way when we go get our metals from mining and stuff, it figures out where to send it. straight away. Now we should have all our grout by now. There we go. Let's go ahead and make all these um, blocks we need. And I'm going to bring up... So if you want to uh, do this with Tinker's Construct, you hold down shift and left click on the particular item subset. You'll notice it auto types in this add mod dot Tinker's Construct and shows you all those different items. And we can kind of just go through and build one of everything we need. So we are going to need some glass. And that means I should probably put our stuff away here again. Condensed all back down to nice levels of happy sauce. There we go. I'll put the clay away for now. Um... What's a good spot for clay? I'm going to put it into this miscellaneous chest because this is kind of my overflow at the moment. 
We're, for when we do not have things configured in our system. And aluminum should probably be into here. So this is a case of where I'm going to need a secondary pipe here. Man, I hope I can get back behind here. I guess we're going to have to leave it open for a little bit for me to be able to do that. But I should have a pipe here, maybe. Oh, I got an item docked on me. Servo. And one servo. Perfect. So let's turn on the item duct here. Plug in the servo and say aluminum ingots are whitelisted. And this will essentially keep getting all of our stuff down to here. Alright. And what you do get once in a while is you get this little bit of backlog. Uh, the other piece I need to add into here is the silver nuggets actually. Because I keep getting those from silverfish as we go mining. And I want those to be handled into this chest. Alright, so next up, uh, let's get some cobble out. And get it cooked over to glass. So we're running low. So now what I want to do here is say, you cook that up. Let's see if I can catch a piece of sand here. And say, you know what? Try and put the sand to here first. And we're going to totally need another chest up here now. And an item duct and a servo and all of that stuff later on. For now though, let me put the... We'll put the chest down. We'll put the item duct of anything we want to cook. And then we're just going to wrench it into place. I think that thing can go away. Sorry. There we go. So now, you know, as we find more stuff to cook, we'll just have to make another servo next time. Let's eat some food. And keep on rolling here. So now, um... I do want any of our glass that comes out to go into this miscellaneous block chest. Oh, so we need servos anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and do that with the little bit of glass we got. We'll make a handful more. And iron. Okay, three works. Let's put one into... So the, again, I got to go behind here and say miscellaneous blocks right there. And I want our item ducts that I just put away. And, and then I need to make sure I have a free hand. So I do like so. Like so. And then I say we're going to whitelist glass into here. We put in an item duct. And that'll keep us uh, chugging along. Now, some of it probably most certainly ended up over to here. Um, but that'll get fixed over time. Alrighty. Now let's see where we're going with things. I've also managed to put our essences into its own chest because I do get that from periodic mining. I also want to keep breaking these dye seeds and redstone seeds, sorry. So a lot of this kind of um, basic level maintenance stuff, more and more I'll start just doing off camera. Because you guys don't want to see that over and over and over again, I'm sure. If you do, though, let me know. We can walk through it periodically. Or I might touch on it, you know, from time, you know, time to time. Um, just in case we get new audience members that want to see something. But I would suggest watching the series from the beginning. There's probably other tips and tricks that, you know, you guys, guys might find useful and or you might have uh, something for me that I should consider. Let me know. Anyway, back to at tankers. You can do it that way too, apparently. So, which tank? I needed a seared tank. Okay. So this is where we got to go through and build all the stuff first. We need the control. Uh, 
the controller, excuse me. And then we're gonna need, I forget how many. Let's grab our, let's look at our book again. One seared tank, one controller, nine seared bricks. Okay. And we're going to start with the basic level because we don't, I don't know how much more we can go. Um, and any combination of bricks, tanks, or seared tanks or drains. So we definitely want three drains. Okay. We might actually need to make some more stuff. And then I kind of am partial to the seared glass effect. So hopefully we got some more glass here by now. Don't know why the sand didn't go where it was supposed to. Let's go look at what happened here. I put, did I not put the cobble in? Oh, since I made that extra uh, thing right now, let's go ahead and put that into place. Okay, there's our glass. Let me get a bunch more cobble uh, into there quickly. Yeah, that might do us for now. 45 more glass, stack or two. Basically, all righty. Now I needed. Let's make just sure that's showing up in the appropriate spot. Should be seeing glass there, right? Well, we'll find it eventually if it's not going where it's supposed to. You'll note I've also put Harvest Craft into the filtering system um, because of these, uh, the salt we get from mining. And with food, I've made it so bread uh, is automated. That's handy to have. So that way I can dump the wheat upstairs and it'll auto process the toast. And I'll have food at the ready. Now. Um, sorry, back to, so let's start assembling this so we can count exactly how many more of what we need. And because height is an issue here, we're actually going to dig down one more. Um, I'm going to be going that, well, I need a slower pet. You need to do a 3x3 three three base. Oh, let's see, give me a couple more cobbles here. Pretty please. Okay, so there's our 3x3 three three base. That has to be seared brick. We're going to need a lava tank. And we're going to need a controller. Which I think I want to put... Well, we'll put that over to here. So that's where I can... Well, yeah, that looks like a good a spot as any. And then I'll need some seared... You know what? I actually would like to dig this wall out once more. Let's do that quickly. Because then the controller could be on this side towards the front where we're going to access it all the time. Here we go. So then we can do our three glass here. We can do our controller here. Might need to go one more with the um, walker on, but that's okay. Let me get some of that cobble back to patch that hole. So then we're going to need at least one, two, five, six, seven more blocks to work with. And I want the drains. Yeah, I want. 
You know what? Yeah, I want the drains up here, actually. So we'll go too tall. It'll be enough to do 18 at the start. And I think we got a, just enough clay to do this. Um, well, there's seven. I mean, clearly we got plenty more. The glass is just kind of fun to work with. So now we should have a full-fledged controller for nine blocks at a time. If I get um, another nine blocks worth of glass, we'll be able to do that much more. But let's get a... Oh, so it's glass we're still short on. And then our glass did make it downstairs. Good. There's four, and then we do need a little bit more grout. Um... Actually, we're going to need a bunch more because I need still need to make the tables and drains and stuff. Uh, grout. That grout there. Sand and gravel. Let me grab some out of our bag here. We'll do it like that. Huh? See how close that gets us. Grout, like so. So I get, yeah, 48 more, let's cook it up. I don't know if I actually put grout upstairs or not, but that might be nice, all right? You can whitelist grout. So now what should happen, if when we can test this in just a minute, but I should be able to send this grout into our sorting system, chest right here, and it'll make its way upstairs. Yep. Can't believe I got a mana bean there. We need to start working on that one too. We still could use a handful more... Um, enemies over here, but I'm not too worried at the moment. We'll get there with it. Right now it's just waiting on seared bricks to show up. And that'll happen momentarily. And let's take a little more fuel upstairs because I'm sure we're burning through it. Well, it's, what it is, is just an assorting system right now. There we go. Seeing it go. And 32 had just made it up here. Put the last of the fuel there. And look, it's raining outside. <laughs> and we should have some over here. Good. How many more did I need to finish this off? So we need nine more. Don't. Oh no! Sorry. One, two, three, four. We need five more glass. And I'm doing it with sheer glass just cause. Why not? Something I've never tried explicitly before. So maybe it'll look kind of cool when we're done. See all the oops. See all the metals and stuff in there, and that should raise us up to 18 slots, which is a fair amount. So next up, we're gonna need a um, basin and a hopper. So you do one of these and a table thing, one of those, and then we could use three drains. But, since we... I don't know if we've got the materials or not. Actually, I probably didn't even want those drains. We'll do it like this for now. I'm actually a little, little bit bigger of a fan. 
let's let's invert this and I'm gonna make one more piece of glass I only I only really need two drains and I'd rather be able to see through the front of what we're doing just for grins oh no that could have stayed you can stay oops nope you there you here you here I'm just kind of inverting this a little bit based on um, how we're going to use things. Okay. It's too bad there's not a clear drain. Where'd that last piece of glass go to? Oh, so I got to make one more piece of glass. Then we'll be able to entirely see into the front when we do things. And maybe we got a little more. Yep, perfect. And, oops, that should get us back up to our nine. So I only am really going to use two drains here, and let's reset the one so it looks similar. Okay. And for now, we will use the manual click method. Eventually, we'll be able to automate that. And our controller should be right here with plenty of room to play. So now, the next piece we need is you need lava to run one of these. What does it take to make a lava fabricator from MFR? Do we got the stuff? Uh, is there a way I can get more slime? Oh boy, we could use one more slime ball, huh? Unless I got a teardrop thing around here somewhere. Oh, we also got a couple extra toys from that uh, monster dungeon. We got two of the same stencils. I got a radio thing. Um, I got a piece of iridium ore, which I'm fairly excited about. And even more so, we got a builder's wand. That's kind of nice to have. So that'll be on our radar. Um, as far as slime goes, boy, I wonder. Wonder if we got anything of that nature. I got fourteen chests there. Okay, lots of intriguing things. Nothing good there. Hmm. Let me see what I can do about that. Let's go harvesting downstairs and, uh... Let's see here. See if we can't finish that piece off. We just gotta, we just gotta empty out our inventory of all the smart things for, you know, all the other things we shouldn't have first. Oh look, I have two of them books now. I must have crafted the real version. Now see, here's the other nice thing. When I get all this extra stuff that I don't know where it particularly goes, I can just throw it into here, and it'll sort itself out. Even if it ends up at the miscellaneous chest. So I got plenty of bread. Our pick could use a top off um, for sure. So we can go over to here and put it into the um, force infuser, and it'll auto-repair itself. What am I doing for tool? Excess picks. Got one there, two. Get some extra force if we need it. Let's put that stuff away. And there we go. That pick is topped off. How's our armor looking? So all of our armor we can do the exact same thing with, and we probably should always do this before we go out. Just top it off, that way, you know, we're in good shape. And while we're waiting, I'll go harvest all of this um, earth essence and whatnot. 
keep building up our supply so when we want to build our next type of seed we can do it fairly easily. Oh, we got an extra die seed it looks like. Maybe. I'm not sure if we had how many we had before. But all this earth essence that will come in handy too as we go. Eventually we'll migrate out of farming that regularly, but for now, it helps us to build up base essences. So we're all repaired up on that stuff, that's good to know. And we got another nugget for down here. Let's label this chest since I've seen a sign here. Uh, essence. Oops, done. Okay, that one's good. This guy's good. And the other thing we should probably consider repairing here before we head down, because we're going to hit more um, issues, is our attack sword. Let that sit and repair for just a minute while we repair our armor. Yep. And all this takes a little doing, you know. And we should probably send a bunch of these to be squeezed because we're starting to fill up. Okay. That looks better. And this guy should be just about done. And our sword might even be done by now. Or at least topped off a little bit more. Yeah, it's done. Back to full health. Let's go see if we can't find a slime. Oh! There is one more thing we needed for downstairs was a uh, engine for our grinder. If you remember that broke a while back. And I wanted to bring one back down there. Uh, along with some fuel. So let's go over that way and see what kind of trouble we can get into. You also never know where you're going to find a slime over here. In our travels, but since there's another dungeon here, I'm wondering if we didn't even have slimes in here already. But we can put a engine back over to here. Along with some fuel. Let it top off our grinder. In fact, I think what I wanted to do here is make it so I could see in and put a lever right here. Eh, yeah. Basically, let this thing fill up with power until we needed it to. And let's make sure we got some cobble at hand. Oh! Let them go. Because they can keep blowing up the wall because there's mad, madding and creepers in there. <laughs> Basically what I should be able to do here is set that with an off switch so we can allow our engine to fill up with power. And then we'll kill everything all at once. But all this extra gear we're getting, we can melt this stuff down in our smeltery. Okay? You should be able to just combine the chain stuff to keep getting better grade chain helmets. Once they're full, they can go into the smeltery to get us steel. Okay, so like all these uh, iron chest plates right here that are not full up, same principle. Even if they got pretty good stuff on them, 
I'd rather melt them down for the material at this stage because it's less mining we have to do. Particularly for iron. And that's where we can put our zombie spawner to use. Eventually I will have the blaze spawner there. And this thing should tick down now in just a minute. And give us loot. I'm hoping. We'll keep messing around over here, but maybe we can get to a spot here. Let me think about this. I want to make sure we, if we do something here, we don't actually blow up our grinder. Uh, let me go down one first. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. And that's where I gotta watch out for them creepers blowing things up. I was kinda hoping we would get stuff. Are we in, what state are we in? Where's the grinder facing? That's a slightly problematic thing. Nope. Run away. That's kind of ridiculous, I think. Wow. Wow. Uh, so we need a bucket of fours here. Pronto. And I need to do that. Wow, that will kill most of that stuff. <laughs> you can see all the zombies starting to die. Oh no, we totally got a Ender Creep, Darkness and Vengeance. Wow. So that's about the only thing we're not killing at the moment. And he's working his way up the force. There we go. Is that healing him? Wow.
Let's um, put this and this up top. Well, I'll keep the bucket down for now. Our fortune pick can stay up there, our shovel. Let me stay back for a minute till we heal. Yep. I'm doing like two points of damage per head. And we just pretty much got to sit back and wait to heal. It's kind of rough. There we go. Now let's stay back for just a minute here. I think they're trying to shoot at me. A rare spring fire skeleton of snagging. Wow. Just wait on a bit of health, folks. That's all. We got our force rent, so if we can get to that cage down there, that might help us out in the long run. And... Oh, the other thing I found in the dungeon chest, folks, is nether wart, so we are growing that now over by the sugar cane plant. Okay, let's see about getting me some cobble back over to here. Now, I think we're, I feel like we're a little bit safer, not a whole lot, but a little bit. There we go. I see more things needing to be looted than anything. Okay. Is this like not going away or what? So did I pick, I picked up our engine again, that's good news. Let's leave that in place. Is my grinder toast? I can't even tell. It looks to be. Okay. Well, let's go put some torches back up around this gin joint.
Oh, that's a bad spot to be in. Wow. Let's put a br okay, so that's how I can flush them all back out, maybe. Heh. <laughs> put keep putting stuff away. That creeper's asking for lots of problems. Let's just kill him. And let's turn off Wayla. That skeleton is crazy. You know what I need down here is one of them vacuum pumps. Let's go collect one. Uh, I think it was an Ender Pearl and Obsidian and a Hopper. And we'll bring an extra chest just cause. But the vacuum thing. will totally allow me to collect all the stuff we're losing down there. A bit faster. Or gain, gaining, losing, look at it how you will. Come on. Let me up to here. Can I totally put that thing into there? Alright, so we're backing all this out, slowly. Although I do like the pipe for the clearness. Let's see if I can fix this lava problem. I need to get up even higher than the thing. Oh, let's get our fortune pick and collect this stuff. Okay. Put that and that away. And this lava should hopefully just go away eventually, is what I'm hoping. No.
Let's put you back down. I don't know why you're not flowing no more. Where do we derp? What was that? Ay, ay, ay. In fact, oh, something, something happened. <laughs> Give me my bucket back, please. Put this and this into here. In fact, let's just take that straight away. Put it away. For later. So this is all the stuff we're getting out of that room from the shenanigans we're doing. This way. Huh. Okay, let me go. That thing's in a flood for like ten minutes. But in the meantime, I can totally stop him from blowing everything up again, maybe. Wow, look at all the crazy zombies and things. This is, like, incredible to me how... Um... How much stuff there is here. I'll put that in. That. That. Let's go try it from the other angle. a nasty level of poison right there. I had to block there. Still trying to make my way across. I suppose we could go right over the top to that. I climbed here.
There we go. So yeah, we got derailed a little bit, guys, but it's totally worth it. Okay. Okay, let's get all of this. Kind of poke through where our stuff is. At. There we go. Now I can filter it. And because I want the blaze spawner thing, actually, let me go get our vacuum hopper over to here. Oh, you know, I need a second one to make sure I can get it back. Let's go make one quickly. So the idea being is because there's a chance that that vacuum hopper might drop straight down before I can reach it. I would much rather have it um, a second vacuum hopper behind sucking it towards me. And we could do that with the minimum stone. It's, it's a worthwhile endeavor. Uh, to do like so. And then I think it's four iron makes and ender pearls. And then... I might make a handful more of these. Let's see, we got the chests. Ender Pearl Obsidian is kind of getting low, but we'll live for now. And we need a bunch of iron. So, hopper. Oh, I had it up there. One, two, three, four. Save the rest. And like so. So now anytime this stuff gets blown up, dies, whatever down there, we'll live with it. Let's put the other stuff away though. Or we could put it into our sorting system. That seems kind of slick. Because that's the number one thing I'm, the number one issue I'm facing is, um, Not being able to recollect their stuff when a creeper goes off. So now let me make sure we can get that hopper back. Nope. Come on. Need to get a block right there. That's what I needed. And see, there's our recovered hopper. Now, the next piece I need to do here, because we've got a thing there, I want to go right above it for the moment. Come on. Don't do that to me. Let's get the crazy lava out of here. Okay, go away lava. I ain't got time for shenanigans. Where's that thing at? I can't see it. There we go. So it's right below this one. So let's go ahead right here. Right there. Let me get my force wrench out in a hurry. And shift right click that and there we go. I don't know what that spawner is, but it looked like skeleton. There we go. So that's a skeleton spawner. Buddy. Go away. And let's close stuff back up here. For right now. Take that one back.
Okay. So now how many more spawn things are into here? And because I want to make sure that that stays safe, let's actually put it up here in our chest, because infinite bone meal is a good thing early on. Holy crikey, Batman. That's a lot of stuff. Whoa. Nope. Negative. They're blowing up again. That is a lot of zombie spawners. I'm just saying. Ouch. Damn it all. Go away. Okay, so let's uh, blast proof our storage area, I guess. That seems fairly smart to me. Oh, we gotta eat some food. We gotta get some more uh, stuff out here. Put you up. That was gravel. Whoa, look at that one. That blaze is dying, huh? Let's put another um, hopper down here. Just in case. The more of this stuff we can collect, the better for us in the long run. Some of these guys. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Um, anyway, we needed some cobble for something. Oh, I know. So we could block in our protected area here. That way I could do things like this too. By the way, are we getting any good loot here? At all? Not so much. Is there any point in keeping So we need to figure out how many more zombie cages there are. There's at least two there. So let me go up top and we'll work our way over to the next two, I guess. Maybe they were equidistant. Just go a little higher. Them random blocks of lava are rough. Anyway, folks, that's an episode here. You got a long one. We'll um, be back with more tomorrow.